1994, B-17 Flying Fortress pilot Howard Snyder and his wife Ruth, along with two of their three children, Nancy and myself Steve, with my wife Glenda, attended the 50th anniversary celebrations of the liberation of Belgium, which were held in Montmagny. It was also 50 years earlier that Howard's B-17, named the Susan Ruth after his other daughter, was shot down by two German Focke-Wolf fighters on February 8, 1944, over Nazi-occupied Belgium. After bailing out of his crippled bomber, Howard evaded capture for seven months. For several months, he was helped and hidden by many courageous Belgian people. After learning that the Allies had invaded Normandy, France on D-Day, June 6, Howard joined the French resistance called the Maquis and fought against the Germans until liberated by the U.S. Army in Trelon, France on September 2, 1944. Representing his 10-man B-17 Susan Ruth crew, Howard Snyder spoke at the 50th anniversary ceremony commemorating the liberation of Belgium, which occurred on September 2, 1944. The event took place in Mansu Embrachis at the memorial honoring the first U.S. troops killed in action.
No problem. No problem. Of the uh, many brave people of the resistance that I share danger with, there are only three that I know of that are still alive. Madame Andre Gaudin of Brussels, Madame Nellie Tocqueen of Jai, and Mr. Raymond Duvan of France. Uh, unfortunately, are too ill to be here. Two of my crew members are still living. Bill Slinker and Kyle Holbert, some of you met when they were here in uh, 1989. And they also were too ill to attend. Uh, I'd like to um, recognize Jack Andre and his wife Janine. During my three visits here for the dedication of this beautiful monument, as well as for the one in Mackie, uh, was and this trip, uh, they have been exceptionally kind to my wife and I, and they will always be our dear friends. So you see, there are not many of those of us still alive from those days. And this, doubt, this no doubt will be my last opportunity to visit with you. So my friends, I will say goodbye to you. Au revoir. May God be with you. In 1989, the Belgium American Foundation, led by its founder, Dr. Paul Delahaye, erected a memorial to the crew of the B-17 Susan Ruth on the property of the distillery farm in Mackinwaz, near where their bomber crashed after being shot down on February 8, 1944. Fifty years later, members of the Snyder family traveled to Momigny, Belgium to take part in the ceremony to remember and honor the crew.
You got to get up there and let me take some pictures. Thank you, that's okay. Of the 10-man B-17 Susan Ruth bomber crew, two died in the plane when it was attacked by German fighters. The other eight men were able to bail out, but three of them were killed on the ground a couple months later. Five came home, five did not. The members of the crew were kneeling, pilot Howard Snyder evaded capture, co-pilot George Ike killed in action. Navigator Robert Benninger, killed in action. Bombardier Richard Daniels, seriously wounded, prisoner of war. Standing, flight engineer Kyle Roy Holbert, prisoner of war. Ball turret gunner Lewis Colwart, killed in action. Radio operator Ross Kaler, killed in action. Right waist gunner John Pindrock, killed in action. Left waist gunner Joe Musial, seriously wounded, prisoner of war. Tail gunner Bill Schlinker, evaded capture. It is our duty to remember. <laughs>